Hey, welcome to So Awkward. I'm Jester. And I'm Don. We just saw Jason Bourne. But they should have called this movie Jason Forn. <laughs> Freddy Krueger saying hi! Is this the fourth Jason Bourne movie? It's the fourth one with Matt Damon. Because there was that Jeremy Renner movie right. that nobody saw but you? But, right. They should have called this movie Jason <laughs> Fire. <Fyvern. laughs> it doesn't work as well. What'd you think? I thought it was great. I thought it was fun. It did not stop. No. For a second. It was a, it was a roller coaster ride. Yeah. As they say, they can, they can, that can be our quote for the uh, for the ad. Okay. <laughs> it was a roller coaster ride, so awkward. That's what hack movie reviewers say, right? Things like right. that. Right. Right. Uh, it was. I thought it was a great movie. I wish I had rewatched the the previous ones. That would have been a good idea. But I mean, you you don't need to. Like I think you don't even need to see the other ones. It's just a, it's a good, exciting action movie. Yeah. Matt Damon is fun to watch as Jason Bourne. Matt Damon is great. He's great in everything. He's really fun. Like when he first premiered, what, in like Goodwill Hunting? Was that his first big movie? <laughs> I never saw it, but that was like his first thing. Did anybody predict he would be the world's biggest badass? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a scene where he takes his shirt off and he's, he's cut, but he's not that cut. Like he's not that intimidating or big guy, but he's just, he's. He's such a good actor, he pulls off being this badass. I watched him on Ellen say that he had to be in shape for like a year, and he thought it was awful. Really? <laughs> really. Then I guess I'm not going to do it. <laughs> uh, way better than Jeremy Renner. I never saw that one. But, yeah, no one did. What was it called? I have no idea. Jack Bourne? Johnny <laughs> Bourne. Maybe. He doesn't even play Jason Bourne? <laughs> It's just, it's like a Jason Bourne side story? I guess. I, I remember nothing about it except that I think he was in the snow. Maybe. What'd you think of, um, the lady? Heather Lee? Is that the character's name? That's the character's name. I have no idea what the actress's name is. I don't know the actress's name. I really liked her. She was great. I thought she was the best thing in the movie. Uh, what was what was that voice, though? I loved it. Oh, I'm not saying I didn't like it. She had I some, thought it was great. She has some weird accent going right. on. I don't know if that... I don't know if she was, like, foreigner trying to put on an American accent or if right. that was just her accent. That's what I was going to ask you. You're a... Uh, you're the master of accents, <laughs> so I thought maybe you had some insight into this it. This one, I, I was guessing Irish? That's what I thought for but most of the movie, but then the credits rolled, and there was a name that was Alice Vickland or something, which I, 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 I would, would assume is Swedish or Norwegian. Yeah, she was something. She was fantastic, she was. She should get an Oscar. You, even at the end of the movie, you never are sure if she's a good guy or bad guy. I have no where idea. her allegiances lie. Was she, like, what were her motivations going in? It's all nebulous. She was great. She yeah. And she had that voice. Like I would, I would get a book on tape. Oh yeah, I want to listen to her forever. You play like a CIA operative. Of the world. Well, she is. She's kind of a symbol of what has happened in the world since the last. Jason Bourne movie in the sense that um, she is um, a cyber technician, uh, a specialist of the cyber CIA. technician. Yeah. Yeah. How about Julia Stiles? Always nice to see her come back. Has she done anything since a Jason Bourne movie? She, the actress, went off the grid. <laughs> right. I think she's a method actress, like to prepare for her role. <laughs> okay. She went off the grid and avoided all cameras and all publicity. <laughs> she's the kind of actress she shows up and just classes up the movie. Totally. It it felt like a continuation of the story. Like it didn't like every Fast and the Furious movie I love, they feel gratuitous at this point. Even 
I nothing I love more than James Bond, but they make James Bond movies because they make James Bond movies. Whereas this felt like they had, it felt like they had more of Jason Bourne's story to tell. Even though I will yeah. admit the story was a little I, thin. Yeah, it was very simplistic, which is odd to say for this type of movie. Yeah. I like the first half more than the second half, just because the second half is where we learn what these, the story is, and it's like, oh. <laughs> like, it's not a bad, it's like, it's not a bad story, it's just like, it's oh. It's not I, a bad story. I expected some, like, major globe-trotting, yeah. more espionage, that it was just, I don't know. I'm not going to say it was predictable, but it, I mean, it, like you said, it was simplistic. But I loved it, I thought it was great. I think people should see it. Definitely, I think it'll be a hit. And it's um, directed by Paul Greengrass, mm -hmm. who has directed, I think, he didn't direct the first one, but I think he's directed all of them since the first one. I think he's really good. He's got a really, this unique visual style where it's almost all handheld stuff. Like the camera's always shaking, but not in like a Blair Witch way. Right. Like you don't get sick. And I think that like, all movies, like even since, probably since the first Jason Bourne movie, have that like shaky fight scenes. But I don't think anybody does it as well as Paul Greengrass. Because these movies, like I, you could follow the fights for the most yeah, part. Yeah, you could. And some of it moved really quickly, but I think you always knew what was going on. Yeah, you should, I was like, wait, what's going on? Chase at the end was really great. I really liked the fight at the end. It was just a good movie. It was a good movie. I liked all the tech stuff. The like the whole scene. My favorite scene was where Julia Stiles was hacking in, and like they were like catching her as she was hacking, mm -hmm. and she gave her the virus. And then uh, Julia Stiles knew. This is the first ten minutes of the movie. Julia Stiles knew that they were tracking her, so she just set her computer on fire. Yeah, that was great. That was awesome. <laughs> anyway, yeah, go see it. <laughs> go see it. It was great. When's the last time we saw, like, a good movie? Not a movie that one of us liked, but a movie that's, like, a legitimately, objectively, really well-made good movie. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah. I just assumed that was our taste in movies. Oh, yeah, we're in a bad taste. Yeah. No, it's their taste in movies, because we go to see movies we think people will, like, that's, that's we think you true. want us to see these movies. That's very true. <laughs> but anyway, this was a good movie. This was a good movie. <laughs> I'm proud to be able, I'm, I stand by this review. Like, this isn't like Warcraft where I have to explain, oh, well, I really like the video game. <laughs> uh, you guys, let us see a good movie, okay? Yeah, somebody recommend, like, a, although I don't really want to see a good movie. Oh, I do. You do? Yeah. We, I, we've we been seeing this trailer forever. Yeah. Um. Months. Every single movie we've gone to, I think, we've seen a trailer for it. Uh, Maybe with the exception of Finding Dory, but I think we even saw one there. Yeah. And if anybody could find Dory, it's Jason Bourne. It's Bourne. Jason Bourne. <laughs>